Let's see if this nickel was from Denver or San Francisco. Still looking for those two. Let's see. Hello, coin enthusiasts out there. It is I, Dax Collects, and today what I have in front of us are two nickel boxes right here. Yes, I'll be opening nickels once again, back to back. I only have two nickel boxes right now. So these are nickel boxes number 39 and number 40 here on YouTube. Let's open these bad boys up and see what we can find inside. Nickels to look out for are gonna be the Liberty Head or V nickel, minted between 1883 to 1913, any Buffalo nickels minted between 1913 to 1938. Any war nickels minted between 1942 and 1945. And any proofs and anything for the books. As well as any errors and or varieties that we could possibly find inside of these rolls. And that's pretty much it. And if you haven't seen my last nickel box video, I'll put the link right up here. So you could go ahead and watch that one before you watch this one. All right, and for my two box hunts, when I have two boxes in front, I grab a coin and do a coin flip to determine the first box for the video. If this lands on heads, I'll open this box first. And if it lands on tails, I'll open this box first. So let's see which box is gonna start off the video here. and it's gonna land on heads. So that means this box right here will be number 39, and this one here will be number 40. So let's get started. All right, here's the first box of the video, number 39. Let's open this box up, and let's see what the enders look like. Let's take a peek. Top side's pretty standard. I'll check the bottom side and I'll let you know if I see anything. The bottom side is also pretty standard. All I see are the Jefferson nickels. I did, sp did spot a few old looking Jefferson nickels. So that's a good sign. Still looking for the 39 Denver and San Francisco. That's something to look for, including some from the 40s and that 50D. A tough nickel to find in circulation. All right, I'll go through these rolls, and once I find something inside one of them, I'll start recording and I'll show you guys what roll I'm currently on and what the find is. And I'll continue that until we get to the end of the box. Then we'll do the full box recap, showing you guys all the finds of the box. Then we'll do the same for the next box. So let's get started right away. So, with that being said, Let's get right into it. Off to a great start with this box. Inside of roll number one is our first 1940s nickel. 1949, minted in Philadelphia. The only 40s nickels I'm looking for for the book, the 1943 Denver, the 1945 San Francisco, and the 1948 San Francisco. Can we find one of those? in this hunt, hopefully. All right, I am currently on roll number seven. And when I saw this, I knew this had to be a war nickel. Look at this. It's got that nice green patina to it. Beautiful. This one is from the year 1943. Is that a Denver? It is. This one was from Denver. It's the one war nickel that I was looking for, and we found it. This will be an addition to the number one collection book. Very nice. I am still on roll number seven. I just want to point this out too, that 43 Denver had a decently low mintage too. About 20 times less than a 1943 Philadelphia 
but just found another 1940s nickel inside of this roll. 1949, minted in San Francisco. Two rolls later, inside of roll number nine is another 1940s nickel. 1941, minted in San Francisco. Another roll, another 1940s nickel. Take a look. 1946, minted in Philadelphia. I always point this out in my nickel hunts. Check for the Henny nickel. These were counterfeit nickels minted between the years 1939 to 1953. If you have one of those years and it does not have a mint mark, check for the looped R on E Pluribus Unum and also check the weight. If it weighs 5.4 grams, then you have a Henny nickel because a normal nickel is supposed to weigh five grams exactly. That's something to look for. Inside of roll number 16, as you guessed it, another 1940s nickel. 1946, minted in Philadelphia, the second one of the box. Just a few nickels later, I found another one. Check it out. 1947, minted in Philadelphia. I'm on the very next roll, and we have another good find right here. This one is a war nickel. As you can see, there's the mint mark above the building. What year was this from? 1943. And not in the worst condition whatsoever. Two things to check for varieties for this coin. One of those is the double die, and the other one is the three over two. It's been a little bit since I found something inside of a roll, but we finally found something. Inside of roll number 35 is another 1940s nickel. 1947, minted in Philadelphia. The second one of the box. Next roll, roll number 36. Check this out. This here is a Canadian nickel. This one has the tiara obverse design. This design spanned between the years 1965 to 1989. What year was this from? 1985. I typically find Canadian nickels from the 80s in my hunts. Still a nice piece. All right. I have just finished nickel box number 39. Let's go ahead and do a full box recap right now. And here are all the finds of the box. Let's go over them real quick. I found nine Jefferson nickels here from the 1940s, seven Jefferson nickels here from the 1950s, and one Canadian nickel right here. This was a pretty good box, folks. We found two war nickels and a Canadian. That's great. We do have some candidates for upgrades as well, like this 1949 San Francisco and maybe a 1941 San Francisco as well. That one looks pretty decent. We will have an addition for the book, which is great. I'm pretty happy with that. So now let's see if we can carry this momentum for the next box. Let's go ahead and bring it out right now. And here it is. Let's go ahead and open this box up right here, right now. Checking the top side. I see a few old Jefferson nickel designs, so that's good to see. Let me check the bottom side real quick. Nothing too crazy on the bottom side, but once again, I did see more old Jefferson nickel designs, so that is Excellent to see. Let's not waste any time. Let's go through the rolls and see what we can find inside these rolls. So with that being said, let's get right into it. I decided to open this box up on the very next day. So it is now February 22nd. I am currently on roll number three. We're going to have our first 1940s nickel of the box. 1949. 
minted in Philadelphia. Next roll, roll number four, found our second 1940s nickel of the box. 1948, minted in Philadelphia. Five rolls later, inside of roll number nine, here's another 1940s nickel. 1940, minted in Denver. We have another find inside of roll number 13. Here's another 1940s nickel. 1941, minted in Philadelphia. Still on the same roll, roll number 13. Here's another 1940s nickel. 1940, minted in San Francisco. I am on roll number 17. Here's another one. We have another chance at a 48S. 1948. Minted in Philadelphia. The second one of the box. Next find is inside of roll number 20. 1941. Minted in Philadelphia. The second one of the box. Two rolls later, inside of roll number 22, we have a Canadian nickel right here. This one is from the year 1990. All right, so I just found out that this 1990 Canadian nickel has a variety, and it is known as the bear belly variety. Right where the beaver's belly is, some examples don't show a belly whatsoever because beavers are supposed to be big, some of them don't even have a belly and it looks really small. This 1990 Canadian nickel though does not have the bare belly variety. So let's continue the hunt. It has the diadem obverse design, which spanned between the years 1990 to 2003. I am currently on roll number 29. We have another find. 1946. Minted in Denver. Next roll, roll number 30. Check this out. 1939. Let's see if this nickel was from Denver or San Francisco. Still looking for those two. Let's see. No way. We have a 39S. Are you serious? 1939, San Francisco. Unbelievable. This will be in addition to the number one collection book. Very nice. Normally, a 39 Philadelphia is so easy to find in circulation. I have found so many of those in my hunts. Never have I found one with a mint mark, though. Ever. Here, just to show you guys the mintages real quick. Here's what it says on the Red Book. 1939 Philadelphia, 120 million. 1939 Denver, 3.5 million. And 1939 S, 6.6 .6 million. All right, let's continue the hunt. All right. Two rolls to go inside of roll number 48. Here's another 1940s nickel. 1946, minted in Philadelphia. All right, I have just finished nickel box number 40. Let's go ahead and do a full box recap right now. And here are all the finds of the box. Let's go over them real quick. I found one Jefferson nickel here from the year 1939, minted in San Francisco. I found a total of nine Jefferson nickels here from the 1940s, 14 Jefferson nickels from the 1950s, and one Canadian nickel right here. So no Buffalo nickels, no war nickels inside of this box, but we still found an addition for the book, and that is great. Took me 40 nickel boxes to find 
139S. Pretty crazy stuff. I'll check these nickels here for upgrades later in the video, and we'll plug this in as well. Let's go ahead and bring down the finds of the last box and do a two box recap. And here are all the finds of the two boxes. This turned out to be a really productive hunt. Ended up finding two additions, one being this 1939 San Francisco, and the other one is this 1943 Denver. Very nice. Did find a couple of good examples of nice coins. So we'll check those for upgrades here in a bit. Here's how it looks all together. Let me put these Canadian nickels. Put them up there for now. Let's go ahead and bring out the collection book. Here it is. Jefferson Nichols collection book number one between the years 1938 to 1961. Here's our progress so far with the collection book. We will fill in a spot here and we will fill in a spot here as well. Still missing the 39 Denver, 45 San Francisco, 48 San Francisco, and 50 Denver. The hardest Jefferson nickel to find in circulation. All right. Here's that 43 Denver. It'll go right in that spot. And here is that 1939 San Francisco. It will go right there. But before I plug these into the book, I'll go ahead and check these nickels up here for upgrades. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And I'll be right back to let you know if I have any upgrades for the collection book. All right, I have just finished checking all of the Jefferson Nichols for upgrades, and we're only gonna have one for the book, 1946 Philadelphia. Here they are side by side. Let's go ahead and plug these Nichols in right now. And there we go. So now after going through nickel boxes number 39 and number 40, this is what my Jefferson Nichols collection book number one looks like right now. Happy to fill two more spots for the book. We will continue our search to find the missing Jefferson Nichols for this collection book in the future. Now let's go ahead and close this book. All right, let's go ahead and put these Canadian nickels away. And now I'll go ahead and check these Jefferson nickels here for DDOs, DDRs, and RPMs. I always go to this website, www.varietyvista.com. If you love hunting for varieties, this is the website for you. They provide illustrations for each of the denominations you're hunting for. I always look for the FS varieties, which is 5S Stanton. FS101, FS102, FS501. I look for any one of those. So. Now I'll go ahead and check these now. And if I find anything, I will let you guys know. And if not, then I'll conclude the video right here. I know there's that 43 war nickel. I will check for the doubled eye and the three over two. Then I'll put it in a coin tube at the end. So if you guys like this video, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you want and subscribe if you want as well. As I go through more coin boxes with you guys, and see what we can find. This was an excellent hunt. We found two more editions for the book, and that is awesome. Let me know down in the comments of some of your 
most recent finds in circulation for the nickels. Also, if you have any Buffalo nickels, V nickels, or anything before that, that you have in your possession, I would love to hear what you guys have in your collection. And now I'm going to go ahead and start signing off. So thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Dax Collects, and I'll catch you guys on the flip. Good luck hunting, everyone, and have a good one. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to check out another video of mine, click on the tab in the bottom left corner.